So for the first step, you want to head over to search and then type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do the updates the computer may have. Now for the second step, you want to head over to search and then type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down and then you want to click on manage settings. Scroll down again and then click on manage control folder access. You want to turn this on and then click on yes. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. And then you want to click on quick scan. You want to run this quick scan. Now once you've done that, now you want to head over to search again and type in system configuration. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on the boot tab and then you want to click on safe boot. And then click on OK and then click on restart. Now once you're in safe mode, you want to head over to search and then type in CMD. Then you want to run as administrator. Now once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Now as the scan is running, we can do the next steps in the video. So you just want to minimize this. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in run. Now we're going to type in MRT. Click on OK. Wait for it to load. And you can either run a quick scan, which will scan areas of the system that are most likely to contain malware software. And you can run a full scan, which will scan your entire system. But the full scan is going to take hours. So only if you have time, then you can run the full scan. So it's up to you really. If you do have hours that you can spare, then you want to run a full scan. Click on next. And then you want to run this. A full scan might even be quick for you. Who knows? But anyways, once you do that, you want to click on finish. And now you want to head over to search again and type in system configuration. Click on it. And then click on the boot tab. And then you want to untick safe boot. Click on OK. And then click on restart. Now we're going to go back to Windows. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on scan options. And then you want to run a full scan. Click on scan now. Now once you've done this, now you want to run a Microsoft Defender offline scan. Click on scan now. And then click on scan. And now the problem should be fixed. 